Oh, is this the dad taping the dog in the background? <laughs> what is she doing? Is she just filming herself? I'm assuming she's taking selfies. <laughs> me. She's like me. I do this. I'll be in my room and I make Snapchats to music and make faces. <laughs> <laughs> She's silly. Is she gonna realize that he's filming him? Oh, wait, she just looked at the phone. Oh, and she like made eye contact with what's going on. She keeps going. She doesn't give a f She just took a picture? That was just practice? Oh my god, why is she taking so many? Oh, no. This is going on longer than I expected it to. Only <laughs> That's all? <laughs> That's the video? Dude! So anticlimactic, bruh. Usually, when you take selfies, at least for me, I'm always like looking around just to see like no one's gonna like watch me do this, and then I'm like... So what was happening in this video? I'm assuming she was taking pictures for Snapchat because that's what I do a lot. I'll make really ugly faces and send it to my friends. She was making funny selfies. Is that weird? I mean, everyone does that, right? A girl was making stupid faces and taking selfies, or maybe she was Snapchatting, and her dad saw it in the rear view and decided to record it. There's a saying on the internet, if I look good in my Snapchat to you, that means that I, you're not my best friend, but if I'm pulling the ugliest face of all time, that means we are close. And I think she was Snapchatting her best friend. What do you think about this dad filming this and then putting it online? Awesome. <laughs> I think it's pretty funny. It's kind of messed up. I would hate my dad for that. I hope my dad would never do something like that, but that that guy is a stud. Like, thank you, dad. My dad doesn't even know how to text me. This guy's like has his front camera and he's filming secretly. And he uploaded it? Dude, advanced. I'm sure the dad was like, this will give her a taste of her own medicine, but the girl probably loves it. I'm sure she's taking a million more selfies, and guess what? A lot more people are probably looking at them. How would you have felt, though, as a teenager, if a parent did this to you and then it got millions of views? I would feel so... Embarrassed. I would not be able to show my face at school. I would kill my mother. I would probably feel like my parents are the worst people in the world. I don't think I'd get embarrassed by that too easily. I would probably think it was funny. I would probably embrace it. Just be like, whatever, yeah, he did that on purpose because I told him to. I wanted it to go online. Boy that I have a crush on, yeah, no big deal. Selfies are now this huge part of our society. It's even in the dictionary. As it should be. Oh, no way. I didn't know that. How many selfies do you take every week? In a week? Uh, I probably take one a day. Maybe like 10. It sounds like the most vain, self-absorbed thing in the whole world. And I'm not saying it isn't, but I still probably take a dozen selfies a week. At least 45? If I take one, it's not just one selfie. Like the one you see on the internet, Probably, it was probably 50 I took to decide on the one I I know, I'm the worst. I try not to back-to-back -back selfies. Just because as a man, you, you're you only allowed about like one selfie a week. You girls can take selfies and it's all good, but as soon as the guys start doing it, there's so much chatter like, look at this guy. I see my girlfriend's like, look at this guy. Who does he think he is taking a selfie? Selfie equality, that's all I want is selfie equality. If I colored my hair, then like hundreds. Cause you gotta get like the, listen, the judgment. <laughs> you gotta get the good angle. So you say hundreds, how many actually get posted? Like two. What is your process though? Do you just snap it and post it? It's a very long process. First, I take all my selfies and I hate every single one of them. So you pick the one that you want and then you go and you edit it. I make sure that like my lighting is on point. I take a handful and then I open, and then I adjust like the contrast. If you don't look on point in your selfie, then it's like they will go in on you. Listen, perfection is not easy. Okay, <laughs> I have to work to get there. Why are selfies such an important part of your life as a YouTube celebrity? Because people want to see you. I do selfies because that's what gets a lot of likes on on Instagram, and and I want to get likes on those so that people look at my other stuff, which is like promotional stuff for my movie. It's just a way of connecting to your audience and the world. And when I'll actually Snapchat a, a, a someone back, like one of the one of the, my Snapchat followers, do they go crazy? You know, and it's just like it just feels so personal that someone's like. 
when they're looking into the camera, it's like they're looking into your your heart. With like Twitter, you got one-on-one -on -one access to a celebrity, and I think selfies are the like photograph version of that, where it's like, I am giving you this image of myself, no filter through the media, it's just me to you. Except when you like edit it to Helen Beck. And why do you think this has become a normal thing? Not just for celebrities and public figures, but everyone is posting pictures of themselves. I think everybody's doing selfies because number one, everybody's self-obsessed and they want people to be like, oh my God, you look so good today. Or, oh my God, your makeup is on point, bitch. We're in a very me generation right now. I need to put something out there about me. Twitter, Facebook, all these things are very generated toward you. Everybody's obsessed with themselves. Like, there's nothing wrong with that. In fact, I approve. I want more people to be obsessed with themselves. It can be excessive, which I'm sure I've, I'm like that. It's just to feel good about yourself and post it. I think it's fine. I never really thought of it that way. <laughs> it's kind of like self-centered, really. Now I feel bad for taking selfies. <laughs> I guess to like show your face and how you've changed and to make a new profile picture. But why do you need to do any of these things? I don't know. You guys have had the same Twitter and Instagram picture for like, I don't know, seven years. <laughs> right, what's the problem? It's not, you fine. gotta like, you gotta like switch it up a bit, you know? So back to the video, in an interview with Good Morning America after this went viral, the girl said that she does find it pretty funny, but she feels like she looks like a goofball. What do you think about how she's handling it? I think she's handling it pretty well. I'm glad. You know what? Good for her. That's the best way to handle it, because if you're like, oh my god, I hate you, da 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 that's probably not the best way to go about it. She lives in a generation where it's okay to go viral. She went viral. You know how many people want to go viral? Of course she finds it funny. I mean, I'm sure she fuck she loves it. Are you kidding me? Like, she's on Good Morning America for taking selfies. She's probably happy that she has so many views. Any kid nowadays would like, you know, just when they get a few few hundred likes on Instagram, they're like, bruh, I'm Insta-famous. It's not even 15 minutes of fame anymore, it's six seconds of fame, you know what I'm saying? Because like, that's all they need, that's all they want. A lot of people, of course, are questioning if this is real or not. Oh. What, what elements, when you watch this, would you watch and think maybe it is fake? because it went on for so long and she never noticed. How long she was doing it. She did look at the camera. Well, she did glance over at the dad's phone that one time. And I thought, like, how did she not realize? She looked at her dad to see maybe is he still filming? That could be it. And as somebody who's like a conspiracy theorist about every viral video, I kind of want to believe it's real. Cause it's just like, it was so perfect. What do you think? Is this real or fake? Fake. Real. Now that you mentioned all that, I could see it being fake only because it went on for so long. I think that one's real. I think it's real. Just based off of how long she was doing it, the faces she was making, I think it's fake. I'm not be a hater. No haters here. Real. It's not easy to sneak do this if someone looks right at it. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, I'm gonna go with fake. I think it's real. I mean, I think it's fake, but I want it to be real. I don't know. Don't make me decide. Only time will tell. Thanks for watching this episode of YouTubers React. Do you see all these beautiful selfies of all these people below? You should click on them and go subscribe to them. Okay, so I gotta go. I have to like filter these and then like re-edit them and then edit them again and then find a filter. So have a good life. Bye, later. Ooh, I look so good on the new iPhone 6.